Okie dokie. So here we go. Let's head back. I did just turn on our recording. So the problem that we're working on is 2048 divided by 52. We decided, or we're guessing, that 52 will go into 204 three times. We're going we're gonna to try it out. So right here on the side, we're going to do our, our multiplication. What did you get, Kaylee? 156. Good, 156. Perfect. Thank oh, you, my dear. So let's try that. So we'll say 3 times 52 is 156, and we will subtract. Ooh, I can't, they started with a hard one right off the bat. I can't do 4 minus 6, so I've got to borrow or take one from the next place value, but there, this is a 0, so i got to skip clear over here. Change him to a 1, right? And that makes him a 10. Now, I still need to borrow from here, so I'm going to take one from the tens place and put it in the ones place. So now I've got 14 minus 6 is 8. We are starting with a really hard one. I'm sorry. 9 minus 5 is 4. Yes, sir. Oh, no. Which is perfect because 48 is less than 52. So we did it right. We are good. We can keep going. It also means that I need to bring down my next number, which is 8. What would you do if the number If the number's bigger, then it means that I could have put a higher number up here. So I'd have to go back and change this number to a higher number because it can go in one more time at least. Good. Thank you, Brooke. Okay, so those of you that already are here, um, so Brinley, tell me how did you estimate or what did you say when you had 52 going to 40, 488? 488 to 500. Okay. And then 50. So then I didn't put in 8. Just as a guess? Okay, because we can't ever put 10 up here, right? We can't put a 10. We can put 9 and below. So her estimate was 8 times, and we could try that out. Landon? No. You think 9? Yeah, 52 goes into 488 times 458. Okay, let's try that. Connor? Um, I was going to say I doubled 156. Let's go. I already answered that. And then 12 now. and then Matt added another 156. So I got 158. 68, so then I took 458 minus 458, and I got um, 180. Okay. And so it's, I think it's 9. 39 and major. Yeah, it, it, it's 9. I got it. I got it. So we got, got, got a remainder of 20, it. right? Sheesh. I, I love hard problems. That was really hard. We were challenging you today. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thank let's you. try one that's maybe not so hard. I don't oh, know why this is the very oh, first yeah. example that we have. I should have looked at that before. Harder than that one. Yeah. Please. Okay, here's, uh, we're going to practice some together. And we'll practice it on your homework sheet so we'll get some more done. We'll do them together. All right, Hunter, will you take one and then pass the two back? Uh, you do not need to leave one on Caden's desk because I already took him some, okay? All right. Number five. Wait, Mrs. Norman. All right. Carson. Mrs. Norman, is it okay if you're on your paper? Can you go on your whiteboard? You know what? Let's, for just the couple that we do in class, yes, but the rest... Try to do it on your paper or at least do it on a scratch paper that you can staple on so I can see your work. And the reason I really want to see your work is that if by chance you're getting some wrong, shh, friends, I, will, I want to be able to see where so I can help you. That's so why right, I want to see your work. So right now, can we do your whiteboard? For these ones, yes. yes. Um, do we have to do all of them? All of them are just the odds, or just like Let's, just a minute, let me get these going and then we'll decide. Um, Tyson, you don't need to leave one for Ashton. 
Because I have already given you. Okay. This is so hard and fun. Yeah. How's it going? You ready? So we're on math homework five two, and we're gonna try number one together. So we've got. Divided by 39. Shh. Okay. Pass them back, please, Riley. We got to get started. We'll chat about it in a minute, like I just said. So let's start together. We're on number one. All right. Rory, get your pencil ready so you can write this down with this bud. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at 39 right here. When I am trying to decide how much 40, 39 will go into these numbers, what's a really good estimate? I could pretend that it's 40. Wouldn't that be a lot easier to guess? That's my so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to guess with 40. Okay, first of all, can 39 or 40 go into two? Nope. No. How about 28? Nope. No. Ooh, so I've got to start with these three right here, right? Let's think about some numbers that go together. Shh, we don't need sound effects, please. Let's think about some numbers that go together. So we said that 39 is really close to 40. And if I'm just estimating, really, what could I think about of this number? We could do 300 or we make it easier. Sure. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Thank you, Brinley. That's a super good idea. I also see another number that might be even closer. What about if I estimated this at 280? Does 4 go into 28? Yes. So 40 could go into 280. Does that get me even closer? Let's go. Yeah, so let's try a seven, right? Four goes into 28 seven times. Let's try seven. So on the side, we're going to do 288 times seven. All right, Ella, we're trying this. Can you try this on the side, please? That's fine. I'm going to let everybody give it a shot. Nope, this one we're trying out for real. Brooke? Oh my goodness. Brooke, thank you. I made a mistake and she pointed it out. You're right. I'm not doing 200 times 7, 280. I should be doing 39 times 7. Oh, Brooke, thank you, that, my dear. I don't know the answer. I was like, that's it. I was like, what are you doing? So I started doing that. But I already knew it's that. Oh, Brooke, I'm sorry. Thank you for pointing that out. I apologize. I don't know what I was doing. So we're doing 39 times 7. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 6 is 27. Perfect. So we are less than 288. So that's heartening. Now let's subtract. Eight. I'll erase this 40 so we don't get mixed up here. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 minus 1, 7, excuse me, is 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. Now 15 is less than 39, so we're good. We guessed right with our seven, so we're good to go. Now, we bring down our six. Now we have to kind of S, guess, guesstimate how many times 39 will go into 156. Any guesses? What do you think, Carson? You say four times? You know what? Yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe five, but this is 39, and it's not closer to 30. So I think you're right with four. Let's It'll give it a try. It's exactly four. Okay. So yeah, 
Is it? It's 4 times 9 is 36, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. You guys are exactly right. So 156 minus 156, 0, we don't have any remainders, our answer is 74. I haven't said yet. Alright, you guys still with me? Yep. Yes, let's just do odds today. Odds? So it's okay. 1 through 11, odds. Man, this is going to take a long time. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll give you some time during guided reading today. Yay! So let's move on to the, let's do, let's do number three together really quick. Yeah, I think we can do one more. So we're on number three. We have 4,967 divided by 68. Those of you that would like to move on, you may do this on your own. Those of you who want to stick with me, I'm still going to do this step by step. So you guys are still just watching with me, right? And writing it on your paper. Why do you These ones, I think we can try it. If we get even harder than this, then one day I'll let you use it. Okay, so next. Let's try. 68 is super close to 70. So I think I'm going to try, in my guesses, to just kind of say, how many, how many times can 70 go into a number? Because it's really close, and that'll help me to estimate. How many times can 70 go into 490? Or maybe I can even say this. How many times can 7 go into 49? How many times, Soraya? 7. So let's give 7 a try. Right? That's like saying 70 into 490. We're going to give it a try. We'll see if that one will work. So I've got to do 68 times 7, right? Because now we're back to this step. Okay, 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 5 is 47. Oh, good. My number or my guess is a good one. So I'm going to do minus 476. 6 minus 6 is 0. 9 minus 7 is 2, and 4 minus 4 is 0. It's like rounding, technically. It's rounding and it really is. together. There is some guessing involved. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, 20 is less than 68, so my guess was a good one. We're good. Now we're moving on, and we're bringing down the 7. Now we have to guess and decide how many times can 68 go into 207. Three. I got it. I got it. You guys are guessing three? Let's it. give it a try. I got it. I got it. Let's guess three and we'll see how it's we do. 16. So 68 times three. Okay. I got the yoko. Three times eight is 24. Three times six is eighteen plus two is twenty. Oh, that was a great guess. So now we do two hundred seven minus two hundred four. This is hard but fun. It's seventy three remaining. Aha! Uh -huh, yes. Seven minus four is three. Now three is less than sixty eight, and there's no more to bring down. So this is our remainder. Hmm. That's fun. That's fun but hard. It is. It's it's difficult. And so if you're struggling a little bit, don't worry. You are not alone. You're not alone. We'll work a little bit more on this during guided reading time. But it'll be mostly a practice independent. Yes, we do. Um, we 
we have to finish our story today. No, I want to. Yeah, we've got to finish our story. So, take your papers, put it in your desk. Let's take a break. Your brains have been working really hard on math, so let's put it away for a minute. We'll take a break. We'll move on and do something else for a little bit. Good job, though, today. If you're being challenged, that's really good. It's good to challenge our brains, right? <laughs> 